So there's a historical projector paradox. I love that line. Historical projector paradox. Um, <clears throat> this paradox is the situation with the F number in the system, the speed of the optical system. <coughs> now, in a conventional projector, the um, with, with a xenon lamp, you have to collect all the angle of that xenon light, okay? And you have to collect all the area of that xenon light. Now, I mentioned the angle's big and the area is big, and you're taking that big area and angle and trying to stuff the light onto as small a chip as possible, okay? And what that means is your optics has to be fast, okay? So your F numbers are, are, are low. Now, with lasers, you have a different story. You have a very small emission area and a very small angular output, right? You know, a laser pointer, you point it at the screen, it remains relatively fixed. Very small angle, okay? And so if your chip size remains the same, now you can change your optics and slow that optics down. Well, slower optics is simpler optics, okay? And, and simpler optics is less expensive optics. So what we're, what we're and, and, and the attributes associated with being having fast optics, uh, impacts color gamut, uh, contrast <coughs> ratio, uh, color shading, vignetting, all of, the, all of the properties that make a projector tough, okay, are impacted by this F number. Having, go, having to go fast hurts your image quality overall. So by slowing the optical system down, we can actually improve the image quality, the balance, okay, the balance is, you have a chip size, okay, and your chip size in this case is fixed to two sizes, right? We know that uh, there's 0.98 inch chips and 1.2 inch chips, or with the 4K, it's slightly larger, okay? So your chip size is, is relatively fixed. You've changed your, you've changed your, your lamp size your, your, to a laser size, and now you can, you can change your F number and, and swing things the other way. Well, what you get along, along with that is being able to improve the contrast ratio, um, being able to improve the image quality and being able to lower the cost of the optics. Um, you know, there's the, the better, better, faster, cheaper scenario. Well, in this case, uh, uh, you're able to get all three when you change when you change the lamp, okay, to a laser. You're able to go the slower optics, which is less expensive, and able to get better image quality performance out of it.